Hello guys, hello guys, it's your boy Victor Isibo once again. If this is your first time here, you're welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm in the business of helping you with due diligence, with make money online and offline opportunities. If stuff like this is what brings you to YouTube, I want you to consider subscribing. Make sure you turn on the bell notification icon. Put it on all so that you don't miss any of my subsequent videos. And to my returning subscribers and viewers, salute. It's a pleasure having you back on this YouTube channel. Disclaimer, I'm not an investment advisor. Don't take my word for it. Do your own due diligence as well, as I will not take any credit for any money you make or any losses you incur as a result of you interacting with my content. Now that we have gotten this disclaimer out of the way, we are trying to revisit Hack and Pull because a couple of days ago, I made a review about Hack and Pull. Very quickly, very quickly, I want to highlight this particular quote on the official Telegram group of Hack and Pull. You can see that they said that they have a Google verified location. Google verified location. And I always tell people in my reviews, the fact that an address exists does not mean that that company is there. Many companies use virtual address, but they want to claim that they are there physically. Like if you walk into that company, you are going to find them there. They feel that that is a proof of legitimacy. So Google verified location, does it mean you are there? I can be in one corner of Africa and write a Google verified location in Malaysia, claiming that I'm there. Now, that location is verified by Google, but did Google verify that I'm there? No. No. In that video, I told my subscribers and viewers, I said anybody who is in London should go to that location to go and confirm for us if Hakan Pool is located there. So, a subscriber of mine who happens to be based in London helped us with due diligence. He went there and here are his findings. He sent me a picture. This is the building, okay? According to the address on Hakan Pool website, this is the building, okay? Holborn Viaduct, okay? This is the address that, you know, Hakimpo put on their website. And he sends me this picture, and from the directory here, you can see, it's a, it's a three-story building. So they have the ground floor here. They have the first floor here. They have the second floor. And, of course, the third floor, the uppermost floor. Okay? So, now... Looking at this, you see that a company, a company occupies each of the floors. Okay? A company occupies each of the four floors. Okay? So there are four floors. Okay? Ground, level one, level two, level three. Okay? The names of the companies occupying each of the floors, we are going to see them with more clarity. I know this is not so clear right, right here. But there's a clearer picture that we can see. Now, this is clear enough. This is the elevator buttons. This is the elevator control for each of the floors. Now, look at it. The ground floor is occupied by First Translation Company Limited. The ground floor. The first floor is occupied by British House and EMEA. On globe. So the ground floor is G, the first floor is one. Now, here is the second floor. It's occupied by Lease T S E and Opus Arts, the sorority. While the topmost floor, which is the third floor, is occupied by International House. Now the question is: where is Hakan Pool. Where is Hakan Pool? 
This is the address you said you are resident in London. Where are you? Come on, we can't find you here. A lot of those companies don't even have investors in the country that they claim they are from. Many of those companies target countries with harsh economic conditions in Africa and some parts of Asia. You see them coming to launch in Nigeria and going to launch in the Philippines. You say you are a London-based company and Alexa is showing that you are not getting any traffic to your website from London. Because they know that, of course, you are not in London, you cannot do due diligence. So where are they? Where are they? You see, so my contact said, this is Hackenpool office. The building have four tenants, like we saw. Hackenpool is not listed. My office is opposite the building. The building is extended from the Farringdon Street to Holborn Viaduct. On the Farringdon side is the bar and eatery that you see on the pictures. Main office is above the adduct. Now, this is live update from someone who is working directly opposite the office that Hackenpool claims that they are residents at. Well, now you can see for yourself, when somebody lies about little things, they will lie about bigger things. And we should be careful in whose custody we commit our monies. And the truth of the matter is that we never really start to complain and see the red flags until it's too late to cry. Thank you for watching this video. Give this video a like uh, so that the YouTube algorithm will recommend it to more and more people. Share this video within your community. And of course, please subscribe and you guys too may count a punch in the comment section below. Till I see you in the next one, I remain Victor Isibo. It is bye for now.